Okay, so hey guys, uh, let us just complete uh, or continue with our doubly linked list um, tutorial series thing. Um, so we have the delete node over here. Let us just begin with that. So how do we begin? We begin with int um, i node is equal to one, and then we go down and we write current. Sorry, current equals to root, and then we have our start. So there are two conditions over here. First, if the deleting type function is root or it's not. So if um, in, in a dire moment it is the root and we want to de delete the root, then it, it should be a different case entirely because, you know, the root is the beginning of end and stuff. So if uh, node number and if node number equal to equal to one, then it will be the root obviously and else something else so let us focus on the root right now so if we want to delete the root we are obviously going to consider changing the root itself root to equal to root dot um, current dot next node and that's it the root is deleted but there are a few more things we should delete and that is the connections of the root okay so just r listen to me over here a bit you gave the current dot next node value to the root which means that the root is now not the root but the next node of the root is the root that that's not confusing that is that that makes sense the perfect sense but you did not change the value of current so the current is still pointing to the original root so you can do whatever else you want so you go current dot next node equal to null and current dot previous node equal to null so the root is just an empty space in memory so you can you know go back and delete this um through the memory the gar java garbage collector will take care of everything so don't worry about it now we look at the else part so you have um still two more uh conditions over here that is if current dot oh wait before this begins we obviously have to uh go through this because you you don't want to delete the root again <laughs> So you go um, if, oh, sorry, not if, while, oh, what's wrong with you? While the ith node is not equal to node number, and you mber, what's happening? Everything is falling apart. Anyway, yeah. So while ith equals, ith node is not, not equal to this, you go ith node plus plus. Um, and then you go over here and you go obviously current dot next node equal to um, current equal to current dot next node yeah. so uh, now you are at the node which you want to, so after this loop runs you will be at the node which you want to delete because obviously I mean you're going through every one of them and you're at the node which you want to delete so you're gonna come across two conditions if current dot next node is equal to equal to null which means that you're at the end of the you know uh, what do you call that the the doubly linked list or else the next node is not null and you are you know just deleting a part of it so if you're at the end of the node you just go current dot previous node dot next node is equal to null you just cut off that line and then you go current dot previous node is equal to null too because you don't want any connections going back either so you have completely lost that connection and if you're at the else part just remember if you're at the else part and let's take an example suppose you have one two and three and you are supposed to delete the second node so you have the first and the third and the first and the third are supposed to be connected so you go uh, current dot previous node dot next node is equal to current dot next node obviously because you'll connect the first to the third and then you go current dot next node dot previous node <laughs> is equal to current dot next node I uh, no 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 not current dot next node current dot previous node and uh, what does this do basically is yeah you know what it does 
obviously because current box the pointer of the current to the next okay to the previous and the next of that previous will be current dot next so it will go directly from the first to the third and similarly everything else will work out um, then the, and then the current dot next node that is the current box its next box that previous node sh uh, value will point to the current's previous one as simple as that so that's about it and and we'll just try to check if this runs or something uh, I'll write a few print functions which are not really important I'll explain it to you but I, I, I don't think I should type them out for you yeah so I have a few print functions over here that is uh, void print and uh, void print backwards and yeah in the previous tutorial uh, in the previous link list that is the normal link list we could not have this print backwards uh, function obviously because there was nothing pointing backwards but here we do and then yeah let's just execute this and see if it runs and it uh, will obviously run perfectly and no problems it runs so we go from 1 2 3 4 5 6 to 1 2 3 4 5 6 backwards and that is over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 add nodes mm -hmm. and you print and you print backwards so if you want to go through these functions they're not very hard to understand you know you have a current print backwards of uh, arrow true and it, I, I just use this to you know illustrate the fact that if you have to put an arrow it's it's no big deal if you don't want to use the arrow you can not use the arrow it's, it's not compulsory it, I mean if you want perfect answers yeah, you want to use the arrow um, then you need the arrow so yeah that's about it and uh, yeah you, you don't use while current is not equal to root obviously because you're not pointing to the root and you're pointing to nothing nulls and sh stuff <laughs> okay so thanks for watching this was an interesting um, experiment uh, with doubly linked lists and uh, I hope you liked it if you did not well it's okay you cannot like it it's your choice um, so thanks for watching and uh, like share and subscribe this to this channel and like and share this video if you found it interesting and uh, yeah that's all